So it's 24 hours, then from here it goes into yeah. this pot and with hot water, you keep mixing and it keeps becoming like a glue, right? Yes. It's basically what it's turning into. Wow, look at this. Incredible, it's all coming together. Woo, it's hot right here. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Tbilisi, Republic of Georgia. Today I'm taking you on a mixed tour. We're starting off right here at the Dry Market. From here we're going to a bridge, then the clock tower. Then we're gonna see how they make some Georgian cheese. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with some dinner at a brewery. I'm super excited, I'm pumped. Right here, look at this. This is the Dry Market. So, it's like a mix of a flea market, you have antiques. Over here we have some stuff for kebabs, souvenirs. What else we got here? Look at this. Can I see this, my friend? Okay. This you fill it up with uh, with wine. Woo! It's hot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so hot. <laughs> it's like on fire. We have some knives. So yeah, so basically this market is all about souvenirs, crafts. What else do we have here? Yeah, everything you wish for. <laughs> yeah? You can find anything here already. So you want to buy some chargers, they have it here. They have stereos, remote controls, <laughs> remote controls. They have silver, jewelry. I mean, what a mix, huh? Huge, huge. And this is here every day. Uh, yes, usually every day. Every in day. A, in a good weather. If it's raining, obviously, not too much. yeah, because yeah. it's not covered. It's an open air market. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Today's Saturday. Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. So basically, it's a flea market, and the reason they call it the Dry Bridge is because. Back in the day, Stalin time, you know, Soviet era, they changed the flow of the, the river and this part of the bridge became useless. Are you interested in price? Yeah. Paris. <laughs> so it is 300 lari, which is about 100 US dollar. It's a pretty good deal. I mean, look at that. That was handcrafted, right? Right. It's a one piece of wood. I'm sure it's yeah. one piece and then on top they added another right, piece, right? right? Exactly. So it's Georgian script yes. and then you have the map. Beautiful. It's written Sakartuelo, which is name of our country in Georgia. Okay, Sakartuelo. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. So what is this? It's Swanetian head, traditional Swanetian head. Okay. And gentlemen from Swaneti wear it. Yeah. Uh, this one's better, wear right? Wear it in the winter time. Okay. <laughs> they also used it as a bowl uh, to drink spring water, for instance. No way. Yes. And it's made of wool, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's really hot. So I you put it on me. I started heating up. <laughs> wow. It's nice. Very nice. We've been exploring one side of the market. There's a whole other side. See, I cross the street. All right, so this vendor right here has like some old school lenses. This one's incredible. Look at this. Still works. Wow. When is this from? From Germany. From Germany. What year? Uh, 1958-61, I think. <laughs> it works, huh? I've never seen a camera that looks like a gun. <laughs> like a straight up gun. 1970. Written in Russian. Photo sniper. And right here we have like some traditional daggers, right? So, wow, look at this. You can tell it's Christian from the top. Look at this. Look, here is the year. 1914. 1914. That's how old this is, 1914? No way, how much for this one? $4,000. $1,000, wow. All right, that's it for the market. Really cool, I mean, what a different market. So flea market, a lot of collectibles. Peace Bridge. This is a bridge that was built after the war, Georgian-Russian war. And with um, the name, we want, uh, we want to spread the message that we want to have peace in Georgia. In case you guys don't know, that was a recent war, 2008. So in 2009, they built this bridge, the Peace Bridge. Beautiful glass bridge that obviously you cross the main river, right? And that's it. All glass, really beautiful, modern, incredible. All right, let's cross. Uh, yes, at night it's lit it up with uh, the color of flag of Georgia. Uh, and sometimes when we are uh, hosting official guests from different countries to show them respect, we decorate this uh, bridge with the color of uh, the guest countries. Loving this only pedestrian bridge, super modern. You have glass, 
steel. So you have the bridge, only pedestrian. And on top, you have the cover, right? You have air flowing through. Over there, we have the fortress. We have the funicular. And over here, we have the other side of the city where we just came from. At night, it lights up with 50,000 light bulbs. And it's really beautiful, especially when it's decorated with Georgian flag colors. So I have to come back here at night. You guys should all pass through here at night for sure. But during the day, it's worth it. Also cooler right now because it is summer, it is July. So it's like 40 degrees during the day here in July. But under this bridge, it feels easily 10 degrees cooler. Still really hot, but it's really nice. Beautiful bridge, it's a must see in the city of Tbilisi. We just passed the Peace Bridge, and now we're on the way to the clock tower. On the way, we stopped at this vendor selling either pomegranate or orange juice. I want pomegranate. It's five for this glass, which is basically $1.50, right? And that is it. So fresh. Add some ice. That was too hot. Hey, ma maglobada. Magloba. Magloba. Pesrom chemi gagi jebi streda de kesa. These Georgians love the party. <laughs> So we're walking down Shavsteli Street, down to the clock tower, and on the way we found the oldest church in Tbilisi. And what's the name of this church? Anchishati Basilica, and it's from the 6th century. Uh, during Soviet era, here in this church, Soviets made bathhouse. But some of the frescoes still survived, so. Here we have this St. Nino's Cross, see? Fortunately for us, the priest allowed me to come in and take some photos and video of the frescoes. Beautiful old really old building how old is this one from sixth century sixth century and as you can see like they took off most of frescoes during when it was a bath but you know the top they couldn't get there so luckily for us it's still intact so right when you exit the church go up the stairs make a right you see a fountain and in front of the fountain we have the clock tower now this clock tower dates back to 2010 and it's a collection of different pieces of churches, correct? The builder of this clock tower is Rezo Gabriadze, a very famous uh, theater director. Uh, he owned the puppet theater and this clock tower also uh, consists of uh, puppet uh, um, elements because at uh, exact uh, o'clock uh, angel comes out from the upper door and rings the bell and at twice at 12 o'clock and at 7 o'clock there is a puppet show uh, that you can enjoy. And also so right here where it says 2010, they have the smallest clock in all of Georgia. Literally right here. Tiny. It's like smaller than my pinky. And the guy who made this, this is all his art, right? So he made all this. Whew, scorching hot. Quick correction, it's not just made up of pieces from different churches, it's pieces of different buildings. This beam right here is from one of the bridges, right? right? And right when you pass the, the clock tower, right under it, you have the puppet museum. Right, theater. Theater, puppet theater. theater. okay. So here's the different plays they have? Yes, yes, yes. And here is the calendar. So in June, these were the plays you could see. Awesome. And it's with the English subtitles. In so, Georgian, but with English subtitles. Very nice. So they're catering to their English speaking audience, <laughs> right? Yeah, this yeah. is it, right? Wow. Awesome. And over here to the left, you can see what the puppets look like. Very old school, right? Very different. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends, we are done with attractions. Now we're off to make some cheese. Quick 10 minute drive later, and we're here at Serhi, right? Serhi, to make some cheese. We're so excited. No, it's gone. Hello. How are you doing? So Zerdi has its own farm and everything you can find here is uh, harvested in their yards and uh, the meat is from their farms and they care about a uh, healthy way of uh, eating and lifestyle so much. So we're going to the back to see how they make some cheese. Gotta put this on, right? Yeah. Like a surgeon every time. <laughs> all right, Nika. Hello. Look at this. First of all, we will, we will get uh, milk. We are walking up in this jar. After 40 degrees, we are adding like a uh, bacterial 30, 30 minutes. We are getting like this cheese, which was here. And uh, it needs around uh, 24 hours to get uh, cheese for sulguni. We cannot make, make sulguni immediately. It needs 24 hours. So it's 24 hours, then from here it goes into yeah. this pot and with hot water, you keep mixing and it keeps becoming like a glue, right? Yes. Basically what it's turning into. Wow, look at this. 
Incredible, it's all coming together. Woo, it's hot right here. It feels steamed. It's the first product of the milk. It's a lot of good cheese. Thank you, thank you. Thank you too. Oh man, this is the other one right, right here. So now we're gonna go upstairs to their bakery, right? Yeah. We're gonna see how you make some bread. Yes. I'm ready for more cheese and bread. That's what this country is all about. It's a lot of dairy, a lot of bread, right? Puri. So they prepare the dough one day before for one night. It is kept in the fridge. The special thing about it is that they are not using any yeast, uh, and it's called uh, sourdough bread. Now they're done. He's gonna bake it for 45 minutes. And then we can eat. Luckily for us, they already have some ready. This is Angus, dry aged, 45 days. 45 days aged Angus beef. Okay, so we just dive in, right? Scrub piece. Maybe not the fattiest piece. Maybe this piece right here. Oh my god. Mmm. Still a little raw. Nice fatty on the sides. I love the salt. Perfect amount of salt. And we have some wine. So, how do we say Calmar it? Jos. Calmar Jos. Calmar Jos. Calmar Jos. Calmar Jos. Cheers. Mmm, <laughs> nice. Cat Italy, dry wine uh, from 2018. This is one of the most popular wines and uh, grape variety. It's called the Cat Italy, white wine. It's like amber, yeah. So it's not like a, it's not like a white, white wine. This is more like I'd say almost like farmhouse yeah. style, yeah. That's because of the skin color. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm. We've eaten a lot of food today, but this is up there with some of the best beef I've had. Aged, dry aged. Mm. Wow, and this beef comes from the farms, right? Farm to table, everything in this place is farm to table. From cheese, bread to beef, and of course, the wine, right? Mm -hmm. So this is bread with grapeseed powder, right? And then over here we have, instead of making it almost like a little sandwich, right? I don't know, maybe just bend it? <laughs> it's hot, whoa. So it's not so dry, not salty, very moist, mm, dense cheese. Definitely a style of mozzarella, right? Very similar. Oh wow, I love the bread. So good. It's fluffy, it's a little airy. So this is Georgian sandwich. <laughs> Farm to table sandwich. Mmm. I like the cheese, it's so hot. Mmm. Obviously, it just made it. If I eat all this cheese, I'm gonna turn into a ball. It's worth it. First day in Georgia, I'm gonna go all out. David, you are trying Hink Ali again. This time it looks a bit different because head is more higher, so it's more comfortable kind of to handle it. It's the same quality, of course, and uh, always delicious, like Hink Ali should be. Like we did before, right? You just gotta suck out of it. <laughs> mm. It's so hot. You did it upside down, right? Like this? Yes. Much more comfortable than mm -hmm. It's easier to eat. Mmm, nice soup. Oh, this one's actually a lot softer than the other one. The other one's a little denser that we had earlier today. Mmm, look at that. Nice minced beef, pork. Mmm, to be honest, I like this one more. I like the spices it has. A little different. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It tastes spices in the soup. You can some herbs. Yeah, the herbs. Yeah. yeah. That's tasty. The only thing is that they serve you this many, right? And you're already full from everything else, so... <laughs> that's the Georgian style. Yeah. So my friend here surprised us with some sheep cheese. But this one's like super hard, huh? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and salty. Gouda. Gouda. Yeah. Like solid, right? Extremely salty. Wow. Yeah, you don't like the salt, right? No. I like the salt. Mmm. With this, you need more wine. Gabi Majos. Gabi Majos. To Georgia, to, to the Georgia. United States. And welcome to Georgia. <laughs> yeah, with that much salt, you have to flush it down. Like so much salt. Of course. I love it though. Mmm. Nice and hard. Look at this. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done here at Serzi store. Look at this place. From here, you can see everything. They got wine, they have honey. What else do you have? Bread, cheese, steak. What's up, guys? We're good, we're good. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you, thank you. So we have more stuff to eat, right? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> so besides their cheese, their bread, their honey, they have sausages, they have the butcher, like I showed you before, but they also have fresh eggs. They also have quail eggs. Amazing. I think I should take myself some of the honey. The honey looks good. How's the honey? This is from the farm, right? All these? Linden honey, Georgian honey, basically, right? Yeah. So I'm here in the back with the butcher and I'm seeing how he cuts this cow, the beef, right? So he basically took the whole entire side of the cow and then he chopped it up. We got the ribs, he put it here on this little machine, chopped it, and it's cutting, it's cutting away nonstop. Incredible, love it. Just watching this process, you know, it's all super organic, cut it all up. Now he's gonna put it back in the fridge. It's gonna sit there until it's ready to dry age, right? And that's it. Oh man, thank you, thank you. Georgia, love you guys. Magloba. 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 Magloba, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, now we're going to a brewery. Yes. Tutona. Uh -huh. After a quick 25 minute drive, we are here in Tutona. Right here, Tutona Brewery. So inside, we're going to try some beers, maybe some more food. Well, we're in Georgia, we should keep eating and drinking. <laughs> I love this place, craft beer or microbrewery, right? So this is Tutona. Right here we have where they make the beers. Incredible spot. Let's go up to the top. Let's see them making a beer. Look at this. So we have the mash tank, right? So we have malt, hops, yeast, and water. That's how you make beer. They have traditional food here. They have eight core beers. They also have seasonal beers and they have burgers. Look at this. So many tanks they got. They got I'm guessing over 14 because the number 14 right there over here we have the bar incredible spot and look they're making it says so time remaining so one hour left for that one to be ready all right let's go try some beers and we're gonna try some beers directly from the tanks and we're also gonna try all the eight beers like samples right plus some food okay so we're going downstairs to one of the tanks and we're gonna try some IPAs or AIPA right I love it because as you go down you can see over here on the way down the stairway they have you know basically the process of how you make beer and when you get down here you can see you know another place to eat you can watch the game and they have another i don't know 20 different tanks so many tanks how many tanks you got here never ending uh, 50. 50. Yes. so i'm not trying an ipa i'm trying a czech pilsner czech obviously pilsner Urkel was the creator of pilsen beer right Mm, it's nice, it's crafty, super light. It's yeah, so it's almost like a lager, right? I'm 100% sure Pilsen comes from the lager family, right? It's not an ale. It's good, you wanna try it? Cheers! Oh, I like it. Stout. The stout. What's the percentage on this? So it's a, low, it's a low stout. It's not so strong. Mm, you can taste the chocolate. Mm, chocolate espresso. That's good. You should call it David's been here. Mmm, <laughs> I like it better. I'm a big ale guy. I don't. I don't love lagers. I'm ale. Porter, IPA, Stout, Imperial Stout, and this one, I love the glasses. Check this out. Tutona. Mm, so good. The best way to drink beer is directly from the tanks. No better way. So I'm here in the back where they make the burgers, my boy, and we just made a grass-fed beef patty. So good with cheese. We got Natural. caramelized onions. Uh, right? I know mayo special sauce. Okay. And made with love. Made with love, of course, man. Of course. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank I you. would eat this, but my stomach can't handle that right now. Okay, I will eat for you. Okay, okay. You eat it. No waste in this food. No waste in food. We just entered the kitchen and we're seeing how they made the quincali dough. So they have a presser. They have a few different presses actually, right? So they, this is the easier way to do it instead of rolling it out with uh, the pin, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Roller pin, yeah. So they put it into this presser, then the other guy presses it even more, makes it very small, and then they take it over here and they're making like a thousand kinkalis, so the dumplings. 
incredible. Ladies and then, do it with hats, the with folding. Hand. Yeah, yeah, they have to. Handmade, always, and they throw it right in here to boil. Look yeah. at that, like a million boiling. Almost ready. Because Almost when, ready. Yeah, when they get on the surface, it means that it's over. Oh, look behind us, we have like, oh. Yeah, so to check if it's ready, all you have to do is touch it and see if it's hard enough, all right? So, that's hot, it's crazy. And this is one portion, one portion. For me, that's it? No, you're crazy. I can't even have two. Two, I'm done. Madeloba, Madeloba. So cool out here. <laughs> so, we have a flight of beer. We have a million quincales. <laughs> so good. I'm starting off with a barley wine. Oh, it's light, but it's crisp. Is this barley wine? Yeah. I know, everywhere in the world is different. In America, we call it barley wine. Here, it's just barley beer, right? This is a Helles. So, it's German style, right? Helles is German, right? It's nice. Mmm, nice. It's like a little fruity, this one. What's in here? Next up, we got the Vienna Lager. Yeah, nice. So it's a little crafty, but still very light. I'd say it's like a 5.8 or 4.8. 4.8. I nailed it, 4.8. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I've never heard of this before. This is a half IPA. It's not a double, it's a half. The same? So this is IPA, this is half. Okay. So citrusy, hoppy, but very light on hops. Yeah, it's hoppier. Nice. Half IPA means daily IPA, so you can enjoy it on a daily basis. What are you doing, man? What are you doing here? <laughs> so he gave me the honey ale, but you know what? He gave me in a bigger version here. He said, I'm gonna love it. Oh my God, look at this handle. This is what, one liter? <laughs> I feel like I'm in Germany right now. <laughs> oh, that's the best beer. Mm. Oh my gosh. Like I, can, I can taste the bees right here, you know? Nice honey. Mmm, it's not so strong though. No? What a handle. Grab one of these. We've been eating so many of these. The way you do it is you open a hole. Mmm, the soup is so different in this one. Oh wow, so again, the same thing, right? Beef and pork, right, with herbs. Then you have the soup, so soup dumpling. You need to eat this with this beer, you have to. Gavi Manjos, Gavi Manjos. Cheers to no COVID. No COVID, yeah, this is exactly. <laughs> and right here we have the house special, which is chicken wings with chili sauce. Woo! Go in here, oh, they're so hot. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so it's like a glazy chili, right? Glazy chili. It's hot, it's a little hot. And right next to it we have another Chili sauce, put it on top. Oh. Mm. Not so bad, man. The manager, my boy here, thinks I'm crazy. I'm good. Oh. They're so hot. They're not spicy, they're hot. Oh, they're so good. I can go all out with this, man. Chicken wings, my favorite. Look the spice and how hot they are. Oh, the combination's <laughs> gonna wait a little bit, right? Give it a chance to breathe. Flush it down with some honey ale. But you know what? Let's try stout. <laughs> She's really enjoying it. I approve. <laughs> Wow. 
we did it, we did it. We did so many things, huh? Oh, I am done. We drink, we eat, we enjoy life, and we work in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw attractions, we ate a lot of food, saw how they made some cheese, ate some bread, cheese, and then, uh, yeah, we came here and had some beer. What an amazing experience. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And if I'm slurring, it's okay because I drank some beer. <laughs> <laughs>